Hello everyone, this is our Steren BL526109 bond power meter fiber tester. We will be showing you what comes with the unit and how to operate it. Each box includes the bond power meter, an AC charging adapter, SC APC jumper cable, cleaning material, a USB data cable, management software CD, and user manual. The ONT port is designated for 1310 nanometer upstream signal test measurements. The OLT port is designated for 1490 and 1550 nanometer downstream signal test measurements. These ports are located on the top of the pond power meter. The charging and USB ports are located on the right hand side. Let's start by turning on the pond power meter. Press and hold the on button for 3 seconds until the home display appears. Backlight automatically comes on when the device is first turned on and goes off after 30 seconds of inactivity. When the backlight is off, press any key to turn it back on. The auto power off feature is enabled when the meter is turned on, which is shown on the lower left corner of the screen. To disable the auto power off feature, press the off button. You can choose between two different measurement units. DBM or watts. Press F2 to select the measurement unit for testing. We will use the laser light source as a means to measure the pawn power going through the SC APC fiber cable. First turn on the laser light source. Connect the SC APC fiber patch cable from the laser light source to the ONT port on the pawn power meter. Select the 1310 nanometer wavelength on the laser source and verify that the power level on the pond power meter outputs to the 1310 nanometer wavelength. Readings should be about 3.7 dBms or 426 microwatts. Switch the SC APC fiber patch cable from ONT to OLT. Select 1490 nanometer wavelength on the laser light source and verify that the power level on the pond power meter outputs to 1490 wavelength. Readings should be about negative 3.03 dBms or 497 microwatts. Select 1550 nanometer wavelength on the laser light source and verify that the power level on the pond power meter outputs to 1550 nanometers. Readings should be about negative 4.93 dBms or 320 microwatts. While the SC APC fiber cable is still connected, select the F1550 nanometers. Press and hold the down button and confirm the 1550 nanometer wavelength on the pond power meter changes to 0 dB. Then remove the fiber cable. Insert the fiber cable under test and verify that the relative value is close to zero. Now press F2 to go back to absolute power mode which shows in DBM. Now we will go over the threshold setup of the pond power meter. Press and hold the up button to enter the threshold setup interface. You can create up to three threshold group settings using three different wavelengths, 1310 nanometer, 1490 nanometer, and 1550 nanometer. You will see three threshold marks displayed on the screen. The warning mark which is displayed by an exclamation mark, the pass mark which is displayed by a check mark, and the fail mark which is displayed by an X mark. Choose the threshold group numbers using the up and down buttons. Once you are on the chosen threshold group, use the left and right buttons to select the wavelength. Once a wavelength is selected, press and hold the OK button to enter the threshold editing mode. Use the left and right buttons to select the digit to be edited which will also be blinking. Use the up and down buttons to edit the value of the digit. Please note when setting up the values, the warning mark should have a greater value than the pass mark and the pass mark will have a greater value than the failed mark. 
If the values are not set appropriately, the settings will not be saved. Press F OK to save the threshold settings of the current wavelength. For example, our laser light source outputs a negative 3.7 dBm. Threshold group 1 is set up to read a pass mark. This means the absolute value is greater than the pass mark and less than the warning mark. Threshold group 2 is set up to read a fail mark. This means the absolute value is less than the fail mark. Threshold group 3 is set up to read a warning mark. This means the absolute value is greater than the warning mark or the absolute value is greater than the fail mark and less than the pass mark. To save and browse each recording, press the F1 button to enable save mode. A blinking rectangular symbol will appear on the bottom of the display. Simply press OK and the record will be saved. On the home display, press and hold the left button to enter record browsing mode. Press the up and down buttons to browse through the records. To delete all records, press and hold the OK button. While in save or browsing mode, press the off button to exit the interface without making any changes. To turn the meter off, press and hold the off button for 3 seconds. This concludes our training video on the pond power meter. We hope you found this short demonstration video helpful.